Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to add a contact in Get Response on Systemy.io form submission. So let's say that you are receiving new leads through form submission, and here you are using Systemy.io, which is an all-in-one marketing tool. So every time the user submits the form, so the details that you have received, with those details, you wish to create a contact in Get Response, which is a global email marketing service. Now to do this, you will have to integrate System. Systemy.io with get response and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So here your trigger will be Systemy.io and your action application will be get response. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. Now let's understand the entire process step by step. So first of all, as you reach pabli.com slash connect, so here this here is the home page. Here, if you are an existing user, you have to sign in and if you are the new user, you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you are going to get 100 free tasks every month to test your automations. So since I'm an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached another window. So these are the products of Pabli and here I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Now, once we reach the dashboard, on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box has appeared and here you have to name your workflow. So you can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to add contact in get response on systemy.io form submission. Let's click on create. And as we do that, here we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger. Another one is action. Now, triggers and actions are the building blocks of automation. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get a response on SMS talking about the amount debited. Now, how does that happen with the help of automation? In such a case, your trigger is the payment gateway and your action application is any application with the help of which you can send this SMS. Now, once we have understood this, let's come to our use case. So here our trigger application will be systemy.io. Let's click on this. Next is the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. And here it will be contact just subscribe to a form. So as we do that, here you can see we have received this webhook URL. So this webhook URL is a universal resource locator used to send data between two applications. It's a medium by which two different applications communicate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Now, once we have done this, here we have to follow the following help text. So first of all, we have to log in to systemy.io account. And here I already have done that. Once this is done, we have to go to funnels. So here we have funnels. Now within funnels, I have created two funnels, lead form and integration. So you can create your own funnel by clicking on this blue tab over here. Now I'm going to go to this lead form funnel that I have created. Now here I have a page, the name is squeeze page. Now here I'm going to go to automation rules. Let's click on add rule. Now here I'm going to select funnel step form subscribed. Let's click on this. Now as I click on this, so here it occurs when a contact has just subscribed to a form. So I'm going to click on add action and click on send webhook. Now here we have to paste the webhook URL that we have received from public connect. So I'm going to copy this once again and paste the same here. Now once done, click on save rule and we can see that the rule has been updated successfully. Now, once this is done, here we can see it is waiting for the webhook response, which means that now we are supposed to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Now to do this, I've already created a page. So this here is my form. Let's fill up this form. Let's say the first name here is smart user one. This here is the email address. And then here we have the state. Now I'm going to click on submit. So as soon as we do that, so we can see that the form has been submitted, taking you back to Pabli Connect. Here we have received the response. Let's check the response that we have received. This here is the name of the page. Then here we have the name of the funnel. This is the funnel ID. Then here we have got the details of the new lead that we have created. This is the name of the state. This here is the complete name. Then we have the email address. Here we have the created at, and this here is the email address. This is the account email. 
Now, once we have received this information, here I'm going to go down and this time what do I want? I want with the information that we have just received, I want to create a contact in get response. Let's click on this and the action event here will be to create contact. Let's click on connect. Here again, Pabli Connect wants to connect with get response account. I'm going to select add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need this API key. So here I'm going to click on this hyperlink here. I have already logged into my get response account. So now here I'm going to click on generate API key. Let's say the name of the key is test key. Now I'm going to click on generate and here is the API key. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to paste the same. Let's click on save. So as we do that here, we can see get response and Pabli Connect are now connected. Now here we have to enter the name of the campaign. So here we have got two different campaigns. Now let me first take you to my get response account. So here we can see that I have got two different campaigns created. This is a default campaign and this is a new campaign that I have created, which is new leads. So here I'm going to select new leads. Now we have to fill in this information. First of all, we have the name. So let's map the information. How? This is the previous step and this is the response that we have received. This here is the name of the person. Then we need the email address. So as I take you down, this here is the email address of the person. Now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time your workflow runs in real time and there's a new response. So it should be added here instead of the manually written data, because if I write it manually, so this information becomes static and then this won't change. So every time whenever your workflow is running, it will take the same information. So to avoid that, we map the information. Next is the IP address. So this is not a required field, but if you wish to add, you can add the IP field in this particular format. Then the day of cycle. So the day on which the contact is in the autoresponder cycle example, day one, day two. So you can mention the same. Next is the tag ID. So I have created a few tags in get response. Let me show you the same. So let's go to tags. And here you can see I have got different tags. So you can create your own tag by clicking on this blue tab here. So here what I'm going to select is system underscore lead. Then we have the date of birth, city, comment, company, country, fax, gender, home phone, mobile phone, phone, postal code, etc. Then we have the name of the state. So we can map this. So I'm going to take you down. This here is the state name and rest of the information. Now, when you're creating a form in systema.io, if any of these fields are required for you, you can create a form in which you can add these fields. Now here, I'm going to just leave this blank because this is just a test integration. And now here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that here, we have received the response according to which now this particular contact must be created and get response. Let's go and check the same. So here I'm going to take you to lists and here we can see that yes, this particular contact has been created. Let's check the tag as well. So here, these are the details. So we can see this here is the email address of the person. And now as I take you down here, we have the tag as well. So this means our integration is a success. Now let's check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to systema.io form and here I'm going to fill in the information. So let's say the name is Domino123. This here is the email address. Then we have the name of the state. As soon as I click on submit and the form is submitted, then automatically this particular lead should be created as a new contact in get response. So here we are in get response. Let's go back to contacts. Let's go to new leads. And here I'm going to quickly refresh this page. And as we do that here, we can see that this particular contact has been created here. So this means that our integration is a success. Let's check the tag as well. So as I take you down, here is the tag. So I hope this is absolutely clear to you. Let's understand what we have done. So here our trigger was systema.io. The event was contact just subscribe to a form. And then our action application was get response where we had to create a contact. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow, which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us.
Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pavli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pavli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pavli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.